Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Unranked to Diamond series on EU Northeast. We return playing Pike. Uh, this was donated by Thal... Oh, wait, I'll get the name right. Uh, Thal Thalassos Games. Thank you very much, dude. Um, but yeah, we've got a Jin mid Yasuo bot lane, um, which is worrying to say the least, but it's even more worrying that neither of them play their champs. So again, it's Smurf Q, so low amount of games, high-ish win rates, so Smurf Q, but still, again, this person blind picked Jin mid, that's an Annie, does very well in her games, and again, the, the general concept, you're taking an AD carry mid, AD carries are designed to get killed by mages, especially something like Annie. So that probably isn't going to go too well, but let's hope I'm wrong. And we have a Yasuo that doesn't play Yasuo, so uh, we, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the, the, these two are duo, obviously as well with full AD. Uh, they have a Yi, which is a bit weird to see, but yeah, another smurf of some kind, but he doesn't really get involved. <laughs> he, he has low kill participation in his games. The Viego doesn't seem too hot, but yeah. So everybody in this game, I would pretty much guarantee, is a smurf of some kind, potentially. Um, but yeah, without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing Pike in bot lane. All right, so welcome to the game. We're playing Pike. Also worth knowing, in the next coming days, I thought I'd announce it because I just got an email to remind uh, myself, actually. I am going to be giving away three of these. These are secret lab uh, lamp back lumbar pillows. Uh, again, you don't have to have a secret lab chair to enter or even win, but I'm going to be giving away three of these. These are like really rare... They've been out of stock for ages. They're coming back in stock on Secret Lab. You can check them out on Secret Lab if you want to buy one. But I'm going to be giving three of them away. Um, I'm going to be giving one away on my Twitter. Nice. Nice. Not a bad stop. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be giving away a few. I'm going to be giving one away on my Twitter. One away, I think, on the YouTube community page. And maybe in the video or something like that. And then uh, finally we'll be giving away on my stream. Um, but not right now, obviously. In probably like, I don't know, next week sometime. Uh, the way that we'll probably do it on stream, just to let you guys know, we'll be uh, having pleb points. We'll be able to buy yourself an entry. Probably we'll do it that way, because it seems to be the easiest way to do stuff on stream like that. I'm rich. Twitter. It will be a Twitter post that you just have to follow, like, and retweet and stuff. Alright, so we're going to go for Zillion. Right here, dude. Uh, Ro Rod Andrex, or Andex. Thank you so much, dude. Again, I'm actually, like, if you have a Zillion in lane in bot lane, make sure his bombs are the one that actually gets the kill, because it kind of screws the AD carry over. In which website they sold? Secret Lab. I don't know if they're actually in stock right now. But they are coming back in stock at least. They've been out of stock for like a little while. Uh. That double stun kind of screwed us. The Zillion doesn't seem fantastic. Yeah, if we just bully the Zillion, I think we can just snowball this lane. He seems a little bit uneasy. How's he saying that in a silver game? It's Smurf Q. 
Oh god. Again, you always get people like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, whatever. Are you actually going back? Yeah, Jin got a kill. I'm actually surprised. Fair play to him. Are they okay? I was gonna be like, are they trying to do dragon? It might be. Do, 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 do. There's, yeah, the zillions are one trick smurf of zillion. Who's the most fun support, in my opinion? Probably Pike. Again, Smurf Q isn't a rumor, guys. It's an actual thing. We we know it exists. It, it's not even like you know, like losers Q is a rumor. That is, Smurf Q isn't a rumor. But yeah, Bard's really fun too. Yeah, we can snowball the lane. Yasso seems to be pretty good from not a non Yasso player. Um, it's fine. You think Pike is the coolest champion? Yeah, I'll probably agree to that. Pike is really cool. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I just stole part of the tower plate. I actually didn't mean... Didn't even mean to do that. Well, Smurf Q has positives and negatives. Like, some people um, are saying this Zillion might not be a Smurf because he's higher level, which is true. He might not be. But at the same point, that means then he has been put in basically borderline smurf cube. Which, that must suck for him. Because, like, genuinely you can look at this game and identify at least five smurfs easily 100%. So that's where people would dislike smurf cube, because now those players are having an even worse experience. Than before. So yeah, people say, okay, there we go. So this isn't a smurf, but he took a break from League. It's not a smurf, but basically the guy apparently just didn't play ranked last season. So now the game, he's come back to playing ranked, and the, the, the game has identified him as, like, you know, not bad. So it's put him in smurf queue, even though he ain't in smurf. That sucks for that guy. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. Poor guy. Hmm. Uh, Karin, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Oh. That's not good by Vi. Riven is getting wrecked in top lane. Again, if she doesn't play Riven, Riven is not a champ you just randomly jump on, as we all know. Well, not everybody knows. Yeah, she doesn't play any Riven. <sighs> hey, nice, Karin. Thank you. Very generous. What the hell? Need level six on both of us. But he, if I hit level 6 and he's still in kill... Oh, Yasuo, buddy. That was so bad. <laughs> I 
Oh, okay, we get all of them, but yeah, Yasuo just kind of died. That's sad. Oh, well, that happens. It happens. Um, I got a tweet from my artist. Oh, I've got to show an emote to Daniello. <laughs> So we're getting some new emotes made. We might be getting even more of them made as well. Alright, let's get that. Shut down. Uh. Oh, again, surprise, surprise. The Jin goes near the Annie and she just goes wha-bam! I might be able to get the kill depending on where she runs. i got Mobies, so I can catch up. I'm on my way. I think I can get her. She's going to base... Unless she, like, bases in, like, a really secretive position, which she's not. Oh, I didn't need to flash. But I guess better safe than sorry. We need to go back bot lane. Um... How do you deal with harass this season? Uh, well, poke is really weak in league at the moment because of how strong life steal is. So yeah, poke has been heavily nerfed unfortunately this year. Alt. There you go. Nice. The problem is we're now losing this tower, and also we want to do that dragon. Yeah, this tower's gone. I actually want to take damage, so we'll give out tower aggro to the Zillion if he's too near. That's pretty bad that we lost our tower. Oh, and then dragon. Oh god, my team is just not paying attention. Holy. Okay. This stuff should never happen. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I think there's the most broken champ right now. There's quite a lot of unbalance in the game still. So there's not an individual. There's quite a few. That was a millimeter from executing. I thought my ignite might have tipped it over the edge, but it didn't. So Viego's now getting involved because the game's going bad. So he's decided to start roaming because the Riven is really doing nothing. Like, I uh, don't randomly play Riven, everybody. Otherwise, you'll be like this. She is just not a champ. You should just randomly jump on. Yeah, no, Viego's doing the right thing. Oh, yeah, obviously. His team is not doing great. He's done well. He's beat the, the Riven easily. And, yeah. Def definitely doing the right thing. Again, Yasuo, again, not much map awareness at all. Really overstaying. No reason for him to do this. Can he do anything about it, though? No. And he flashed. Yeah. It's so, at the moment, feels a little bit of a team difference. Of one team is actually being quite active and alert, and the other's making a lot of mistakes. This ribbon, dude. Oh god. Okay. <sighs> Got it, but ye. Oh, this game's gonna be difficult. Uh, random question Do you know if you gain or lose ever mind your promo games? Again, sorry for that. We've got construction going on. Um, yes, you do. What do I max second? Uh, e. Nice CC. Is it enough? 
No, because it's Master Yi, and he's a very skillful champion that everybody loves. Lol. No. Bye bye. They have a lot of like same like these two champs are very similar in some ways. CC will deal them probably quite easily. Riven's dead. Hello? That was very close of her being dead. Hmm. The Riven just doesn't seem to be quite, I don't know, paying attention. Damn. Gotta be careful because Annie's got Tibbers. Shame Vi died. Hey, two turrets. Alright. Yeah, we got Dragon. We definitely want to try and get that. Um... Yeah, so he's in trouble. There's no tower. And now he's in a 2v1. Again, the Yi was going to kill him anyway. People are giving exactly what a Master Yi wants this game. A Master Yi is obviously a very, very, very basic champion in League of Legends. The counter to a Master Yi is literally grouping quite easily. And people keep going 1v1 to give the Master Yi exactly what he wants. Which is not what I would recommend. But it's what they're doing. Not the most effective Rift Herald. That tower's nearly dead. And that's it. That's all it did. It did a little charge. They definitely could have maximized that Rift Herald a bit more. Oh, that's bad. Ooh. Ah, no one's using ults. Riven died without ult. Jin got caught with ult. And Yasuo's getting caught in general. I don't I don't see us winning this game. It, just, it feels like we've got too many people that just don't know what they're doing on the champ. Which is probably what's going on. Is he, Evelyn hard to play? No. Evelyn's a knowledge-based champion. Um, knowing that you can execute somebody. But a lot of the time on Evelyn you can execute somebody. But I wouldn't call her hard to play, no. I just noticed that person has Annie in their name. Hmm. I'd be very happy if I was Annie in this matchup. Okay. Again, if we group as five and don't go individual, I think we could win this game quite easily. But it's solo queue. So and when you add the solo queue mixture into a game, that's when things kind of go to pot. Oh, there's a zillion nearby. He's around here, is he? And sometimes you can use your ult to get a kill, sometimes just use it for getting on top of people. Utility. Yeah. 
There we go. Again, grouping up, ladies and gentlemen. Grouping up. I don't know where the Caitlyn's gone. Haven't seen her in a little while, to be honest. Fresh ward. That's zillions. Where's Caitlyn? Yeah, we're having a good game. Has she gone? I will say, we've seen a, in fr a frightening amount. Oh, a frightening amount of rage quits already in this series. More than I averagely see in this, like, on a ranked series, you know? There's been a lot. Oh. I got stopped by the Viego. That didn't do enough damage to kill him. There's four people! Okay. I didn't expect four people to be around. I, I thought my combo did enough to execute, but it, it would if I had a complete item. That's, just, that's the difference of going back and not. That was my bad. My mistake. I am back off. Don't fight them right now. Yeah, my E also didn't land before the ulti. That would have given me the damage, I think. And then they should be really careful right now. Oh, yes, I was getting really caught badly. Oh, God. They're going to try this, probably. Why wouldn't they, you know? What is going on here, though? Yeah, that Master Yi, I'd say, is very cocky. I think they're on it. They are on it. They can't do that. There's no way. the master Again, they might have been able to if they actually focused it, but Master Yi was like, I'm going in! <laughs> Which is a bit odd. Ah, I knew I was about to die, but I just thought maybe I could live. Again, it's worth it. Annie got killed for killing me. I'm a support. She's a mid. That is worth. Yeah, Jin's damage. Again, he's not even fed. He's having an okay game. It's more Master Yi is pathetically, dare I say, weak. I will say, Master Yi is weak. In the current meta of League of Legends where everything one-shots each other, Master Yi doesn't get tanky. Maybe you could throw in a tank item on Master Yi to help him. Like, get a dead man's or something, and that would actually maybe make a difference. But standard Master Yi? Yeah, I'm never going to be scared of. Unless they had it combination, like we've seen before. I've played Morgana before with a Master Yi. That's a bit scary. Or if they had a Yumi, that's a bit scary, because Yumi obviously makes anything insane. Not really sure why Riven's going for that. Again, this Riven's having a pretty bad game, and she's chasing after the enemy in their own territory. Oh! <laughs> I'm nearly dead! Yeah, the Annie seems to, like, want to kill me a lot. I don't know what I did to upset the Annie. But I might have done something. So I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, and it's unfortunate. I believe the Caitlyn is gone. Oh, I try to get him into the pit. Oh, he could have ulted. Why didn't Yasuo ult him? Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Again, I am messing around a little bit, but it's, you know, when, when the enemy team don't have someone, they've gone. Oh, Riven again. Um, the game for me, I don't know about you guys, but the game gets boring. So I generally mess around a little bit more. There we go. And she lives. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, so I think sometimes people don't realize is when someone AFKs or whatever, it doesn't ruin the game for their team. It obviously ruins it more for their team, but it also makes the game itself incredible. Oh, she's back, but it does make the game incredibly boring. Again, a really high death Annie can still kill a Jin, obviously. Yeah, it ruins morale. It just takes the point out of like, oh, this isn't going to be a game that's like good quality anymore. Unfortunately. So I don't know what happened. Again, if she's come back, she wasn't having a bad game. Maybe it was internet issues over rage quitting. Don't know. Shouldn't be overstaying there. Does seem that like Riven has overtaken the V. Oh, they were. Oh, Collector. And excuse if you hear construction noises. What? That went through her? Dude. That went through the Annie. It's poor Master Yi, dude. You're too squishy. Ooh, she had flash. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, GG's. But yeah, this was a good pipe game. I'm happy with how we played. Um, some nice plays here or there. No! Also some bad misses, too. The Jin missed everything, did he? I don't know if he did. I think he hit a bit. Where did the Caitlyn go? Did she make it back? I guess she made it back. Yeah, she's there. Got her. Alright, nice. That might be the end of the game. So I'd say the enemy comp, but what they struggled with is that they had very one-dimensional team comp. And like, it, when you have two like AD carry running champions, it's very easy to counter that by just grouping. Uh, Kawazuka GT, 29 months tier one. Thank you much, dude. Hey, Huzzy, always enjoyed your vids and streams. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, dude. That's very kind. Long term support by Kawazuka GT. Yeah, Riven had a pretty bad game, but then got back into it, which is good. That obviously helps when we're doing well as a team as well. Uh, Brendan Dallacrem, thank you much, dude. Six months for Prime. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to give it to my Yasuo because we played well together in bot lane, I would say. And we went 8, 7, 19, plus 25, and damage done, dealing nearing the most damage on my team. And he does the most damage in the game, not too surprising. Excuse the construction. Uh, but yeah, overall good game. Again, don't know what happened to the Caitlyn, but it happens. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.